Now I want to give you a few tips about the industrial wood carver. This is a, a real favourite of mine. It's the blade I would choose to use if I was doing really tough work, especially uh, burls and things like that. It's got replaceable carbide teeth again, you can rotate them. It cuts on its edge. Unlike the turbo plane and uh, the turbo products, it actually cuts on the periphery as well as on the side, but they're very small little round cutters, carbide cutters. Now, I know that a lot of people use this on a normal angle grinder without the use of our ProGuard, but uh, I just want to show you some of the advantages of using it with the ProGuard as well. So, of course, you're all familiar with putting it onto your angle grinder. You need to set, if you're using it with a, uh, just a normal angle grinder, then you want to put the guard to 45 degrees and uh, you can use that pretty much like uh, any, any of our wood carving blades. But with the ProGuard, there are a few benefits that you don't get apart from the uh, added safety of having a guard system. Now the first thing uh, with the ProGuard is it gives you depth control. So I can loosen this off and place it to whatever depth I want. Now, one of the cuts that you can do is an extremely fine cut so that, say I'm exposing it by uh, a few mil. If I was to run that over this piece of wood, I know that it's not going to dig in and, and cut too much. So I can be cutting exactly the depth that I've set to. So now I can ride sideways on the wood and it won't penetrate any deeper than I've exposed the blade. If I set it to a deeper cut, I can now trench with it and ride it on this end. It can follow guides if I wish. This depth of cut can be very useful. If I've set it to that depth, I can now proceed in one direction, always riding on that. I can just keep going and removing this material going sideways. And so you can see it's very, very fast because it's quite a fine cut. It's not perfect on the bottom, but you don't go below the depth that you set. You can remove a set amount f for quite a large uh, section just by moving in one direction. The only reason it dropped down here is because I'd cut out a bit here, but otherwise it would have followed that profile. Now another feature that I should mention too is you can actually twist it and ride it. I'll set this to a fairly shallow cut and I place it on an angle and move it at an angle. If I had a guide here, I could ride it against the guide and do it nice and accurately. You can even run it against the back, a guide at the back, and run it at 90 degrees. So you can see the guard is more than a guard. It does save you from having the shavings come into your face. They all come out the side. Um, but the depth control and the ability to run it against guides gives you a lot more options.